So split toning or duo toning is so easy to do now in Adobe Camera Raw. Let me show you how quickly do that. Are you ready? It's Photoshop time and you know the drill. Smack it, whack it, and crack a lack. Yes! That's awesome! What? I'm gonna hit Command or Control J just to duplicate my layer so I'm not working on the original. I'm gonna pop over the filter camera raw filter. If you're already using a DNG file, you're going right into camera raw. Obviously you can do the same thing then. So if you, once you're in the camera raw basic editing panel, if you come down to the tab that says split toning, which is the same as duotone, it's going to give you the ability to, to basically color contaminate the highlights and color contaminate the shadows to emulate a traditional film toning process where you get basically warm and cool highlights and shadows, which is our nice interplay against each other. So you can do this over a color image, but it is better in black and white. So if you start off by hitting this black and white button, then coming down to this split toning, you'll get a more dramatic effect and actually align with the true nature of the duo or split toning feature, which again aligns with traditional black and white film print toning. This is one of the few areas in all of Photoshop where the volume knob is not automatically at 100%. Strangely, it auto defaults to 0%. So no matter what hue you apply, you can't see it being applied because it's being applied zero. This is the volume knob, the saturation. I like to drag it all the way to 100%. Yes, it looks crazy. Fine. And I want to clearly see what I'm doing. So I'm clearly adding red to all the highlight areas, yellows, greens, blues. You see, I get to choose what I want. So here I'll, I'm going to go somewhere in a warm yellow. Obviously, I don't want it at 100%. I want it to be more subtle, probably come down to something like that. And then down here, the shadows, I'm going to drag that all the way to 100%. And for color contrast, come over to the cool colors now, some type of blue or purple. I think something right in there looks nice. And then drag that saturation down. So you have this nice, subtle contrast where you have tinted highlights that are warm and tinted shadows that are cool. And then obviously you can switch these. You can just pull your shadows down to, to a warm and then pull your highlights up to cool. Or you can have your shadows and your highlights both cool at different opacities. You get to totally decide how you create your split toning or do a toning effect. And it's really a powerful feature here in Adobe Camera Raw. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.